Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Elma and this is Space for Inspiration and Change. If you're here for the first time, you're very much welcome. Please consider subscribing, trust me, you're gonna love it in this house, it's always warm. And if you're a returning subscriber of mine, I want to say thank you for always coming back to support me. So first of all, I just want to apologize to all my subscribers. Like, this is the most inconsistent I've ever been, like, uh, like, I don't even have time to do videos. I have no time at all. Like, oh my god. Let me first of all start by apologizing to all my subscribers. Forgive my inconsistency. It's not intentional. Like, school has been really, really so demanding. I spend most time doing assignments. Like, there's just a lot going on. So, please, you guys, first of all, begin by pardoning me for, like, not being very consistent, okay? So, thank you all for your understanding. Happy Easter everyone. It's another it's another Easter and we thank God for life. We thank God for his grace. We thank him for the journey, for his love. So you guys, oh my god. I hope you all are doing fine at your various areas. I hope all is going well for you. Ah, school is so demanding this time around. We have a lot of assignments, we have a lot of class projects. So before I realize I'm like, ah, I haven't done a video and before you know it, the week is over. So I just felt like I should just sit down today and just, you know, do at least a video to explain to you all the reason why I have not really, really been consistent. So for now, maybe the least I can do is I'm going to be dropping videos maybe um once a week for now. I'm not sure if I get time to do all that. Just like places are getting warmer right now and I'm going to have a chance to be able to go around again so that people, because I realize that a lot of people like don't love my vlogs. So I'm going to try to maybe go around to do more videos yeah show you all around korea i also have many video requests from people i'm sorry if i haven't yet done the videos bird trust me i'm going to like do it once i get the time like i said it's been so tough school has been so demanding a lot of things have been going on bird it's it's i'm going to balance and i'm going to catch up okay i'm going to catch up i'm really sorry for being inconsistent I just looked at my my videos and I'm like, oh my god! So it's been six days since I ever posted anything on this channel. I lastly posted last week Sunday. So like, it's been it's been school so demanding. So happy Easter, everybody! I hope the Easter is going well for you. It was an amazing time in our church today. We sang, we danced. I don't know. You guys tell me in the comment section how you celebrated your Easter like. Did, did you guys have the Easter eggs, you know? Like what we did in our church, we kind of placed some eggs in some corners of the church and then people had to go find those kind of, you know, it was a little bit of fun. Like people had to search for the eggs and then find it. Just that we didn't really have many difficult places to put the eggs. Like if, if it's in a really, really big church, maybe you have more places where you can hide and then people is, people are going to have a harder time trying to find those eggs. But yeah, it was fun. So I just came out to do this video to like remind us about the season of Easter. Like I have been thinking about a lot of things lately. A lot of, a lot of things have been going on in my mind like just to reasoning i just sat down and i was just reasoning and thinking about how much god loves us like sometimes i feel like we really don't deserve the love he gives us he sends his only son to die for us on the cross to redeem us from sin and he who knew no sin became sin for us like um today in church my husband was preaching a sermon and he said that the greatest miracle Jesus did was the miracle he did not do. Meaning that while on the cross, he had the power to save himself. But he didn't do so. He didn't, he didn't save himself because he knew that he had to go through that pain. He had to go through that torture just so he could save us, you know. He could save us. He who knew no sin, he became sin. He who knew no bitterness, became bitterness. All the sins he carried for us on the cross just because, you know, he wanted to redeem us just for you and me. Now, I if you watch this video of the Passion of Christ, you're going to see how, and even in the Bible, you see that he was beaten. And, like, 
you know the kind of beating they gave him was the kind of beating that his ribs got broken his bones got damaged he went through all that kind of pain and you know he he was beating with with tons the kind of sticks where he, the kind of whips that were used to beat him were the kind of stick whips that could pull out his flesh but still he endured the pain of the cross just for you and me so when i think about all of those things i'll be like who can really give themselves up for people they don't even know who can really give themselves up for people what 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 great love our savior had for us what great love god has for us what is it that is holding you back from accepting christ as your personal lord and savior like what is really holding us back this season of easter is a season to celebrate our risen king to celebrate the fact that we are no longer slaves of slaves to sin we are now children of god we cannot be re we cannot be identified as children of god like you know when jesus was nailed to the cross you know the veil that was in the temple that was you know in those days only the priest had access to go into the holy of holies you know for, to make a sacrifice unto the lord but when jesus christ actually died on the cross that veil that was between man and god was torn into the middle meaning that we now have access to our father so what is it that is stopping you from accepting christ as your personal lord and savior like i've really been thinking about a lot of things in this season like what if the trumpet sounds right now what is it, what how is it gonna be like for you do you believe in god do you believe god exists do you do you still have doubts do you believe that our master jesus christ died for us on the cross definitely yes so what is it that is holding you back from accepting him as your personal lord and savior in this season of easter i want us to have everything let us sit down and look at our lives have we nailed jesus christ to the cross again the second time by our ways of life do we show love to our neighbors do we look out for each other are we kind to people or are we just being self-centered let us remember in this season of easter to show love to people around us let us be kind to our to people around us let us show compassion let us be there be our brother's keeper be your brother's keeper share the gospel of christ with somebody today remind them of the love of god you don't know who might be depressed remind them that somebody somewhere died for your sins you therefore have no no reason to feel like you you don't have access to god our master took all of those kind of sins on the cross with him just so we can gain access so that we can also be called the sons and daughters of god so in this season of easter i just want us to have a rethink like let us think about our lives like are we are we are we living our lives right are we are we um are we living our lives right like have we nailed jesus again to the cross the second time do we show love to the people around us do we show compassion to the people around us let us be watchful let us be prayerful at every point in our lives let us let the holy spirit to be the one to come into our lives and direct our every step I just I just this life this life you you never can tell what can happen tomorrow you might say my life is perfect I don't need Jesus in my life but unfortunately you do not own your life you didn't give yourself life you don't know when that life can be taken away from you how ready are you do you think some people feel like it's people that it's people that are poor that need God no we all need God in our lives. We all need to welcome him into our lives as our personal Lord and Savior. And in this season of Easter, we remember what he did on the cross for us. He died on the cross. He rose up again on the third day. And we are celebrating because we know that we can now be called children of God. We can now be proudly called sons and daughters of the Lord, of the Most High God. So let us just have a rethink of our lives in this season. Let us, if you, if you feel like you've deviated away from your Lord, come back to Him. He's ready with open arms to welcome you. So just remember what He did for us and accept Him into your life if you haven't yet done so. And trust me, you're going to see that this life is really nothing without God. Without God, we are nothing. We are empty vessels. But with God in our lives.
the Holy Spirit in us. He's going to direct us on how to live right, to live righteous lives that in the end we can all make heaven. So I don't know. I just came out here to <coughs> I just came out here today to just remind us of the love of God, of so much love he had for us that he died on the cross for us. He rose up and we are celebrating his resurrection. We are celebrating Easter. And I hope we have all learned something from this. Consider giving your life to Christ today if you haven't. Trust me, you're not gonna regret it. So I just I just hope you've learned something from this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you if you learned something. Please like, share, subscribe. And like I said, I might not be very consistent in this period because of school work that is so demanding bread. I'm going to come back full force and I'll do my best to at least post videos even once a week before I go back to my regular posting two times two th after every two days, okay? So stay blessed at your various corners. May the Lord bless you all. And may the Holy Spirit come into your heart and be your director. Until next time, bye-bye.